Well, hi, it's Pastor Danny with Grace City Church. Today is Tuesday time for our two minute recap. Well, this past Sunday, we continued our message series entitled Road Trip, Meaningful Moments on Jesus's Journey. We're using the Gospel of Luke as our roadmap and just kind of going through the Gospel of Luke and look at all the different places where, where Jesus traveled to. And so in Luke chapter four, Jesus is actually traveling back home to his hometown in Nazareth. And the people are super excited that their hometown boy has come home, their hometown hero. Uh, by this point, the word is out. Jesus is a gifted communicator, done a couple of miracles, a couple of healings, and they are excited to have him in their synagogue opening up God's word. And so he gets handed the scroll of Isaiah and, and Jesus opens up to Isaiah 61. He knew exactly <laughs> where he was going in the book of Isaiah. The reason why is because that's been kind of called the messianic mission. Isaiah 61 is the prophetic word of, of Jesus' coming, but it's also his job description of what he'll be doing. So basically, Jesus tells the people, hey, the Messiah has come. I'm here. He then shares with them and says, listen, you guys and gals, you're not that important. You need to think about other people as well. God loves everyone. And he did that by just sharing about Elijah and Elisha and how God used both those men, both those prophets to to really heal people outside of the Jewish faith and they got it they, they, they got angry about that and then really Jesus said hey listen you all need grace too you you may be uh, God's chosen people but you need God's grace and uh, and he got rejected and so whenever you share truth especially God's truth with people just know you're, you're gonna get rejected too I mean they they, they threw Jesus out of church <laughs> and uh, took him to a cliff uh, to throw him off the cliff, but Jesus escaped that. And uh, the great theologian, St. Augustine, Augustine, he said this. He said, you know, people love to be enlightened with truth, but they hate it when truth accuses them. And so that's just a good word. And just know if you've ever been rejected, you're in good hands. Uh, you're in good company because Jesus was rejected as well. That's your two-minute recap.